Okay, hello guys, I'm Enterprise, how's it going? Today we're gonna be reviewing, um, uh, manga, we're gonna do a manga review. We're gonna review The Promised Neverland. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm finally on generic anime YouTuber now. I've done anime reviews, I've uh, done manga hauls, not anime hauls, besides it. Surprisingly, I got a bit of anime I want to share with you guys. Maybe I'll do that in the next video. Who knows? But anyways, let's continue the manga review. As I got limited time, so let's go. The review on The Promised Neverland starts now. <laughs> That's based on an escape story. It's like a prison story because you know the kids are. Oh yeah, spo spoiler warning. S spoiler warning. Don't go anywhere after this. This warning, if you know, if you haven't read the manga. Okay, I gotta explain this first. Before I said, I just after this part, I started explaining about how they're stuck in the orphanage. How Emma, the main character, is in. The rest of the kids are stuck in the orphanage and stuff, and it's like a prison, meat farm, whatever. I'll explain it later in the video, so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew what I was talking about here. Let's begin. And this, you don't mind being spoiled. Anyways, let's go. So, they have, what I was saying, they're stuck basically in a prison because, well, outside the orphanage, because they're all orphans, all below the age of 12, there's the enemies to them are the dorm mother and the, the other person that's. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, because they learn that there's demons out there trying to eat them. And the bad thing is that the, the orphanage they're staying in is a meat farm. And they're the meat. It's it's surprisingly dark, I know. If you look at the cover, you would never have guessed that this would be a, a story about freaking demons wanting to eat people. And the, uh, the only human they trusted is the one that ships them out to the demons so they can eat them. So, or kill them. So if you get shipped out, you're certain death. Now they find this out, the person, the main character and one of her close friends, Norman, find it out because like one of their friends gets shipped out or or not, or um, taken by a parent um, and, she, and the person that gets shipped out gets her money. So they return the money and they find a dead body in her place. That's right, she is dead, and they also found a demon who killed her right freaking there. So they hide under a truck, and they have the body. Whew! Mine equals blown! I was like, whoa! Whoa! I didn't expect this at all! I was like, oh god! What happened to this friendly story? Because like before that part happened, all we knew was that they couldn't go beyond the fence or go through the gate because it was always closed. If they went beyond the fence, they would be outside. They're, like they can, they can escape, right? That's all we, we we've known. But it's so. What? I was like, holy freak! There's demons that kill people, and they and the mother, the dorm mother, or the the foster mother, or whatever you want to call her. She's the one who ships them out to die. It's like. That's crazy! I want to say something though. Wow! This manga has amazing art and the and the volume that's made by from Shonen Jump or Viz Media, the volume the English translations, are pretty great and the spine looks pretty good, it's solid, and it honestly it makes it the, the, the read oh, I just love the page that <laughs> Promised Neverland. Anyways, the spine's great, it's easy to read, and yeah. The art's great too, the story is phenomenal. You wouldn't ex if you just went into the first and needed to study the book, you would never have expected that this, this would be a dark manga. You just go in there, look, it looks all happy, everyone's eating breakfast, everyone's getting ready for the day, and it's like, it's so happy, right? Then all of a sudden, boom, someone's dead. And Damon killed them, and the, they're all on a meat farm, a human farm for the demons, and the, the one person they trusted the most is the one that they shouldn't have trusted at all. So this story is amazing, and the art is phenomenal, and the how the book is, it just feels like it makes a great read. I've got nothing but praise to this book. The thing is, I didn't want to buy this at first, because I was like, hey, I kind of want to read Promised Neverland. 
but I don't think I have any incentive to buy the novel, or the graphic novel. I never had the incentive to buy it. But I was like, hey, the, the book I wanted is in, is in here at the store. There's volume one and two right freaking here. So I was like, hey, I'll pick them up and give it a try. And while I'm glad I picked this up. Hey guys, like, if you like dark, if you like dark stuff, like really bloody and gory dark crap, and from like happy to gory, or if you like just the art and the story in general, like I guarantee you guys, if you guys like, if you guys like try it out, like it will only take like the first chapter will probably entice you to read more anyway. So just read the first chapter. It took like five minutes. Man, so fast to read. It took me like two minutes on myself, but generally it's five minutes. But dude, this was amazing, and I really say this is like a, a six or a seven out of ten for me. It's not perfect. Like I said, the art's good, right? The art is good, but it's not. Fun. I, I said phenomenally. I meant to say it's alright. The, the art can fall in some places, but honestly, it's still great. The story is what pushes it forward, though. Like, they're trying to escape with this prison or the meat farm, right? They're trying to escape, but the thing is, it's not only three, pe three people that we're trying to escape here. It's not, it's not only Norman and Emma and Ray. I forgot to mention Ray, the other smart best friend, because they're like the three top people. Three people who have like 100% IQ or whatever. Like, the best IQ or the smartest people in the orphanage, and the oldest people in the orphanage, mind you. So yeah, they're all trying to escape this, right? So, but it's not only that. They want to evacuate everybody in the orphanage, besides for the mom, of course, she's an enemy, right? So they want to evacuate everybody. It's like, ooh, we got a big task. I was like, it would be easy if it was just three of us, right? Like, that's what Ray says. He's like, it would be easy if it was just us, right? And like, Emma's like, no, we got to get everybody. And Norman's like, I agree with Emma. Because, like, he, he's, like, loves Emma, or, like, he wants to challenge and all that crap, right? So, yeah. <laughs> it's really great. I really recommend it. Uh, I've spoiled a ton for you. But if you don't mind spoilers, again, if you, if you didn't want spoilers, I gave you a warning back then, right? So, if you don't mind spoilers, you should, you're here right now, right? But, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this manga review, if you want more, like... I'm just sort of reviewing the series as a whole, but I can review Volume 2, like, this is basically what happens in Volume 1, I'll, I'll, I'll gloss over it, is that they find out, first we get introduction to the characters, then they find out what happens, then they have one-on-one -on -one with Mom, like, they try to figure out ways to escape, they, like, train with hide-and-seek, I think that's what happens. Yeah, the best option, she got us, like, the mother gets her, it gets them group, like, she got us with her, they, they can't escape now, they have to go... We have to like do all that stuff, right? So it's just kind of weird. Like, do they play tag in the forest? So they train each one of them. So it's kind of weird like that. Yeah. So Cross Neverland. If you want to give it a go, go for it. I might. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll make it a volume review. I also, I have the title, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it that Maybe I'll just do like a little serious introduction. For this is my first impressions of it. Really, I've had a really great, great experience with the first volume. And wow, I can't read more. I'm not sure if I'll continue to review the volumes or not because, like, I, I don't really talk about the volumes. I don't really specifically talk about the volumes in whole. Like, I could, I could probably talk about chapters, but like honestly, I don't think I'll review chapters. So maybe, like, because like I have bad memories, so like I don't want to. It took me like a while to read the whole volume again. Like I, I basically went off of what I remember, right? So yeah, so. Uh, I might read a few more if you want as well more longer reviews. So if I can leave that like and maybe subscribe to the channel for more. Like honestly, that's what I can say. If you guys want more of that, let me know in the comments. But with that said, uh, I'll see you guys all next time. This is probably the best take I did actually. Oh yeah, finally a good take. Now I can go watch Golden Lagos. See you guys next time.